Hi everybody, Crystal from Sultan's Choice Belly Dance here. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about arms, hands, and how to keep them looking nice and soft when all we have are straight bones that don't bend. So the first uh, thing that I do want to ask is if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, gotta get the subs and you know how that works. Anyways, um, you'll find the link button, something like that down below. Uh, so next thing I want to talk about is the idea of rotation. To give you an example, if I take my arm out to the side nice and straight, and I'm gonna keep a bend in the elbow to make an angle. Now in order to make that angle go from being two sharp straight pieces to something that's round, I am going to rotate through the shoulder and lift the elbow towards the back of the room and then upwards. So the next trick to this is trying to see if you can get the fingers or the hands to stay somewhat still. They can move a little bit, but we don't want to face palm the audience or to give them a backhand. So we're trying to keep a gentle, relaxed palm facing downwards. So watch now while we take a bend and lift it and find a bit of curve while I try to keep my fingers still. Okay, so all rotation. Let's look at the other arm. Find an angle, lift it up. Now, of course, we don't want to end up like weird, I don't know, angly dragon arm. So we're trying to get an imagery of the arm rippling, beginning from the shoulder, rippling outwards to the elbow, and finally to the wrist. So we've talked about the elbow going up and down, now we need to talk about the wrist going up and down, as opposed to the fingers going down below the arm. What we're trying for here is to lift the wrist up as the fingers slide towards the elbow and then put it back down. So see how the lift and pull up is different from this staying here and the fingers just swinging downwards. They both involve a wrist bend, but they're actually using some different muscles and they're very, very key. Okay, so we need some dexterity, some articulation with the wrist. Let's talk about the wrist lifting up and now going in, up, out, up, in, up, out. Give it a little bit of a shake and let's start stretching our arms. So sometimes when I'm warming up, whether it's hip circles, finding some little hip singles, I do like to try to keep the feet moving so that we don't lose some momentum. So I'm gonna take a little hip circle. You're gonna take the palm to the ceiling, opposite thumb underneath the wrist, fingers to the palm and just pull it downwards. We don't want to lock through the elbow, rather leave a little bit of a softness and pull back. Shoulder rolls back and down. Keep the rib cage lifted. Now let's move the stretch down to the fingers, pull them back, really stretching through the wrist, stretch through the palm. Release the fingers, flip the hand over, thumb under the wrist, pull it back. Keep your hip circles or your hip singles going. If you wish to change direction, do that now. And then take those fingers to the outside of the body, reach on top and pull back on either the knuckles or the back of the hand. All right, holding there for a second. Give it a little shake out. We're gonna go to the other hand. I'm gonna switch my hips over to a gentle figure eight up to down. Okay, so palm up, reach the arm out, thumb underneath the wrist, pull back on the palm. Good. Keep the low belly pulled in. If you choose to do some hips, we don't want to stick the tail out like this and reach out with the bum. Rather, you want to pull the low belly in, find the pelvis in more of a neutral alignment under the sacral spine. All right, let's pull back on the fingers. Keep the rib cage lifted off the hips. Gently release the fingers, flip the hand over, thumb under the wrist, pulling down on the back. Good. Take the fingers out to the outside of the body, over top reach, pull back on the knuckles. All right, let's give that a 
shake. So we're gonna go to over and under the hill next and try and work the backs of the hands and find a softness in the palm. Okay, so we're gonna take the fingertips and we're literally trying to go up over the hill. Fingers go first, then the rest of the hands, get it down. And then under, try and get the fingers to start pulling back as we pull back up. Okay, let's go nice and slow. Really work through the hands and the fingers. When we work our hands this hard, then when we go to dance and we want a relaxed hand, you'll be amazed at how relaxed the fingers feel after doing this. Go as slow as you can, really think. Into the mud, down, slow. Stretch the fingers out nice and straight. Try and keep them glued together under and up. All right, release. Oh, pretty good. Okay, so please work with your wrists get it going, and then we can do another one that works with hand floreos, as opposed to windmill fingers, okay? So two different moves, we'll look at that another day. Uh, so we've softened the hands, we've worked through the muscles, now we're gonna talk about your hand placement while you dance. Okay, so most people are like, what the heck do I do with my hands? Is my thumb out, is it in, are my palms separated? And then I end up seeing hands like this in dances, or hands like this in dances, or hands like this in dances. Okay, none of the above. Okay, so a couple of exercises to get the perfect hand. We tried it in, ba in Belly Dance Basics class last night, and it worked absolutely perfect, okay? So we're gonna stretch out the fingers and the thumb really, really wide. Now we're gonna glue all the fingers together and glue the thumb to the inside. Okay, now trying to push the middle of the palm outwards. I want you to think of a soft fuzzy bunny or a little soft uh, cotton ball, something uber soft and you're gonna relax your palm and allow yourself to cup it gently and your fingers are gonna relax. We're gonna flip the palms down. And we're gonna keep the thumb tucked in because we don't want them to fall out. We're gonna keep that in. Put the hand down and relax the hand. Energize the middle finger so it's as if you're trying to do drop something down with the little middle finger only. Okay, so out, in, soften the palm, relax the fingers, palms down, and middle finger is ready to go. So when we do arm think pinball, as the ball gets released out from the armpit, you release and lift out through the upper arm, allow space in the armpit. Lift the elbow, lift the wrist. Now don't curl the fingers, rather we wanna release that ball out through the end of the hand. Okay, so lift, elbow, wrist. Put it back down, keep the palm nice and soft. Let's look at the hand, okay? Thumbs tucked in, not pressed out, not super extended, fingers glued, fuzzy soft, flip down, relax fingers, middle finger. All right. Pinball release out one arm, out the other arm, lift and out. Okay, so we are now doing little baby snake arms or arm undulations in a low A type of fashion. To show you from behind, lift, out. I'll do the same arm again so you can see it there. Let's go a little bit faster. Lift them up a little bit higher, a little less in the shoulder, more rotation in the elbow. Faster, right, left, right, left. Pull in on that low belly, don't stick the tail out. 
You can also, you don't have to lower down, but I will so you can see my arms. You can also take the arms above the head and think the same thing with elbows and then wrists. Good. And then we can also take it down and keep the fingertips wider than the hips so we're always showcasing the action that's happening. So this could be little Maya hips. All right, let's take the arms down, roll the shoulders back. And there's your little tiny highlight and spotlight just on arms and elbows and hands, little things like that. When we do our arm stretches, never pull on the elbow. Always keep it either here or here, depending on your range of motion. And also try to keep the shoulder from coming up. Rather, we wanna keep it down so that the stretch is really coming over the top and the backs of the shoulder muscle. And release the arms, swing them out, switch the other arm up, pull on the back of the arm, shoulder comes down. Good. Shake the arms out. So remember, every day, hands, things, stuff, stretches, Okay, it'll also help you when you're playing the cymbals to have nice flexible muscles that don't tire easily. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I know I will uh, be doing a little bit of aerial yoga and maybe, oh, a pound class later tonight. Okay, enjoy your day. Bye.